What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Gunner Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Koran Gojic. Get this. Koran Gojic, ex-heavyweight boxer charged with trafficking over $1 billion of cocaine. The Department of Justice on Monday charged a former professional heavyweight boxer with trafficking over 20 tons of cocaine worth more than $1 billion through the U.S. ports, most of which was from the prosecutors in 2019 called one of the largest drug sieges in United States history. Karan Gojic, 43, was arrested Sunday after being indicted by a grand jury in New York. The Justice Department said in news release, Kojic, who is from Montenegro, was arrested while trying to board a flight at Miami International Airport. Kojic was charged with three counts of violating the Federal Maritime Drug Law Enforcement Act and one count of conspiracy, faces a mandatory minimum 10-year sentence up to life in prison. The charges steam from the three sieges of cocaine, mostly notably 19.8 tons from the cargo ship while it was docked at Philadelphia's Packer Avenue Marine Terminal. In 2019, at the time, Ivan Dorisinvik, the ship's second mate, and Fornafave Tiasaga were arrested in the bus. The ship was on the way to the Netherlands. Wow. Prosecutors allege that Kojic and others used meticulous planning to, to transport cocaine to Europe from Colombia through U.S. ports using commercial cargo ships. Quote, members of the conspiracy loaded the commercial cargo ships at night near the coast and ports, working with crew members who would hoist loads of cocaine from speedboats, then approach the ships at multiple points along their route, prosecutors wrote. The, defend the defendants allegedly loaded the drugs using nets and the ship's cranes. Once the cocaine was on aboard, the crew who are the crew would hide it within shipping containers, prosecutors said. Hmm. Wow. Listen, uh, Koran Kojic, 43 years of age. If he doesn't have a lawyer that can spring a ma magic trick out of his ass, he's finished. There's nothing else to say. There's nothing else to do. Um, obviously, they had intel uh, there had to be some type of leak within someone that spoke to the authorities to get themselves a lighter sentence. This, unfortunately, how it goes, where if someone gets caught, they involve the other people so they can get a lighter sentence to involve or to explain further involvement of what the crime that they were uh, arrested for in the first place. So um, Mr. Goran Kojic you know, from Montenegro. Ooh, e bobre si. That's all I have to say. It's it's unfortunate. Um, is it a non-violent crime? Well, it depends on who you ask. Because if those drugs would have reached the Netherlands, you don't know what type of lives that it could have affected. Wow, a million, a billion. Sorry, one billion dollars worth of, worth of cocaine is very, very. Um, popular um very dangerous <laughs> and very important to a lot of people you know um but the thing is you know if if he uh goes with a plea he could do exactly what someone else did probably to turn him in or to pull him into the situation because I doubt an ex-boxer would have a mastermind control. You know, they're treating him like they're treating Daniel Kinahan or someone like that. But, it, you know, it goes without saying, you know, crime doesn't pay. And if it does, and if you think it does, it doesn't pay for long until it eventually bites you 
in the ass. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Garan Kojic charged after Fed siege, sieges one billion of cocaine. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.